They are never happy and contented. They commit crime upon crime and keep on burning with some fire which coaxes them, coaxes them on to further crime, yet they never find any happiness and peace. The true happiness is found only in goodness. And with reference to your own personal experience, you know better than anybody else that whenever you have created a heaven for you here, you enjoy the eternal bliss. And according to the founder of the Ahmadiyya community, it is this building of our own heavens here on earth and building of our own hells on this on here earth, on here on this earth, which would materialize in the form of a spiritual something, to which we will be uh, sent after death. The heaven our own making, the hell of our own making. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> uh, after this, please. Sorry. Yes, please. Ask this lady to come to occupy this front chair, please. Yes. Morning, everybody. Um, um, in Christianity, we've got um, a reference all the time as to the Holy Spirit. Uh, could you could you please come closer to the microphone? In um, Christianity, we always have um, reference to what's claimed to be the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and um, what I'd like to know is. Like in Christianity, we have set down that the Ten Commandments really are the um, the law of Christianity. What I want to understand is what is the um, the law to follow in Islam, and um, Could I help you by starting to answer your question which is yeah. yet unborn? Could I? Yeah. Because I am ordinarily confronted with similar questions. Mm -hmm. So if I am right in guessing what you are aiming at, you will find answer in my answer. Answer to your question in my reply. If not, then you could, perhaps you will be better prepared to pinpoint where I missed and what actually it was that which you wanted, right? <coughs> First of all, the reference is given to the existence of the Holy Spirit. Now this is not uh, something unique to Christianity, although it has been so much highlighted and spoken of so loudly in Christianity that it seems that Christians appropriate entirely the concept of the Holy Spirit. It is found in every religion. Under one, ref under one title or another, the concept of the Holy Spirit is found in every religion. Without that concept, no religion can exist as such. The Holy Founder of Ahmadiyya community has spoken volumes on this subject with reference to the Quran and with reference to the Christian experiences and before that. And I'll give you the gist of that, first of all, to help you understand the concept of the Holy Spirit. It can be divided in uh, two parts. One understanding of the Holy Spirit relates to His uh, being the overall uh, what we share, supervisor is a very small word, but the one who administers, who governs all the affairs relating to prophecy or relating to revelation. And that spirit is referred to as holy in the sense that it has nothing from its own mixed with the revelation which is delivered by God originally to be delivered to some servants of his on earth. 
this institution of conveying prophecy or revelation has always been under the command of the Holy Spirit. Perhaps it is in this sense that uh, St. John refers to the Word and it was always with him and the Holy Spirit slightly in a confused way but basically I think if that is what he, mean, what he means the Holy Quran supports that view that that Holy Spirit as in charge or overall responsible person in the government of uh, revelation is that archangel to whom we also refer to as Jibreel. That is one meaning of the Holy Spirit. The other meaning which has also been uh, made uh, abundantly clear by the Holy Founder of Ahmadiyya Jamaat, of course with reference to the Quran and, and Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah but he has explained things which previously remain unexplained to most of the Muslim scholars. He speaks of the Holy Spirit in the sense of one's contact with God which makes one holy permanently and eternally and in whichever area one has that one has experience that internal revolution in that match his, he comes into contact with the Holy Spirit and you see people repent their crimes they are sometimes agonized at the faults they have made but also we find that despite their being genuine in all this sometimes they return to the same crimes According to Hazrat Masih in those areas they have not yet made contact with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit comes to stay. It never leaves you. And this phenomenon can be piecemeal because everyone is not a prophet of God. Everyone cannot have that security against sin absolutely was to him forever as the meaning of spirit, the, as the meaning of the uh, title or the term Holy Spirit implies so it happens in ordinary lives that any servant of God who is repentant of some of his sins and conscious of many others constantly endeavors to move away from his sin to a state of holiness, he is helped by this archangel. And in response to his deep rooted desire to become clean, once he is clean with the help of this archangel, he remains clean. He never reverts to those things. This process continues until death. And if we find the evidence of this happening in the life of a person even if he has not reached the ultimate of this journey he will be considered among the holy and his relationship with the Holy Spirit would be established by God this is the meaning of the Holy Spirit which we understand with reference not only to the Quran but with reference to the uh, Injil or the Gospels and the books earlier. Now, there is one thing also which you mentioned in your question, which has not been covered by this answer, but it directly relates to uh, this answer, so I'm going to enlarge upon this. That is about the Ten Commandments. Now, if St. Paul was right in his understanding,